Next, we are going to look at checkpoint based recovery schemes. Just write it better. It is checkpoint, okay? Checkpoint based recovery schemes. Just have a realization that in the above immediate and deferred recovery schemes, I am doing the recovery by looking at the records from the starting of the log, okay? Because the reason is that I am only indicating partial commitment, okay? So I cannot be sure that this transaction which has partially committed whether it has wrote its updation to the stable storage or not. Therefore, I have to keep redoing the transaction even if it is already made its updates in the database. That's what we did when we uh, when we were doing what was happen what was going to happen when we would fail at this this instant okay or rather at this instant though x was already 7 we have to rewrite it back to 7 now in checkpoint based recovery obviously the need therefore for the above scheme is to indicate we have to have a mechanism which would indicate full commitment of transaction okay so how do I indicate this thing I indicate this by creating a checkpoint my chip Checkpoint means all the transactions at this instant have totally committed. They have made their updates to the database so that you need not worry about these transactions and you worry about the transactions which have occurred after the checkpoint. Okay, you need not redo or undo a transaction which was committed before a check checkpoint because now this commit record is going to indicate a full commit a commit record before a checkpoint indicates a full commit I am just going to write it over here commit log record before a checkpoint means total commit or full commit okay so what is this checkpoint whenever we write a checkpoint or create a checkpoint it basically indicates that we do three things first we write all the log records that we have in main memory to permanent storage okay next what we do is we write all the updated buffers look these updated buffers means we are in partially committed state updated buffers to permanent storage okay where I have partially committed, I only say that I have updated my buffers in the main memory. When I write this buffer to the database, I say I have totally committed. So this second condition is basically creating this ground for total commitment. Okay. And my final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to write a checkpoint record into the log okay so whenever I create a checkpoint I do these three things checkpoint then do this okay 